Hello my precious viewers. I am in Scotland of all places. I don't know how this trip is happening. There's well anyways at the end of the trip once I am uh, once I return to LA I'm gonna tell you about all this how it happened and where I stayed and how it was possible. But I hope you're doing well. It's freezing in here. I am not used to this cold. I'm all wrapped up and my next stop is going to be Iceland, so watch for it and I think I'm going to embark on a 7 day fast in Iceland. I'm going to be swimming in sulfuric waters. It's incredible what's happening with this trip. Anyways, so today I want to discuss with you something very important. What attracted me of the ketogenic diet? Because a lot of diet I've been into don't make too much sense. This one does. Why? Because it's very sustainable for the planet. You don't have to eat that much. When you integrate fats in your, in your diet, the amount of food or even protein is so minimal that it really makes sense. If, eat, if everybody was on a ketogenic diet, we wouldn't have animal farming, we wouldn't have all this toxicity that's going on in the world. This is my opinion, of course. Also, what attracted me of it is fat is satiating. You don't have to eat that much. Also, it calms the brain because carbohydrates were created to, to resolve the hunger problem because we're a lot of us on this planet and what they ended up doing is the opposite. So I find the keto diet very interesting and when I found it, it was by coincidence because I asked my dad, what did my grandparent eat? And he told me they ate eggs, butter and a lot of fat. And they had like one piece of bread, like stone milled bread and things like that. So they didn't have a lot of carbs. And I said to myself, they lived a long time and they had excellent health. So that's when I discovered all the stuff about cholesterol, that cholesterol really is not, it's not really harmful. In fact, your body produces cholesterol. It doesn't matter if you eat it or not. You know that, right? So I find the ketogenic diet kind of a solution to a lot of issues we have in society. So if we grew each one of us our little leaves at home, that's all you need to do. Meat, you can eat one gram per kilogram that you weigh, which is very little. And if you integrate eggs, you don't have to eat a lot of protein at all. I mean meats and fish and chicken. With a small piece of 50 grams, you're good no matter, even if you weigh 100 kilos, which is 200 pounds. So that's actually brilliant. Also, the most important vitamins are fat soluble. So you have to integrate fat in your diet in order to get those vitamins. So A, D, K, E, all of these are uh, soluble in fat. They're not water soluble. Also, because fruit has been manipulated by men, humanity never, never had sugar. Sugar was actually a condiment, like cinnamon or, or pepper. So, if you skip all the fruits and you skip the breads and grains, you have this beautiful diet with beefy greens, a little bit of protein and a lot of, um, uh, uh, I mean, I said a little bit of fat in volume, it's a small amount of fat, lots of leafy greens, and a medium amount of protein. Eggs are essential. Eggs are very healthy for you. So that's the reason why I was so attracted to this diet and I wanted to share it with you today from Edinburgh, where I'm spending a few days and uh, sending you a lot of love, everybody, and wishing you have started the day uh, in the right um, uh, pace. Also, don't forget to watch my previous video to this one, how to get into ketosis the easy way. And uh, I will be uh, updating you. I'm going to be fasting in Iceland, I think. I hope I can. I'm going to try to plan it into my trip because I'm going to be swimming in hot springs and sulfuric waters. And then at the end of my trip, when I get to Los Angeles, I'm going to tell you how this trip happened, who made it possible, and I'm going to have a giant well i'll tell you more about it when i get back to you so my last stop is iceland i'm gonna go back to spain and then from spain to africa still have like a few weeks maybe one month all right i love you guys bye take care